Oh, there might be a new friend here. Well, an old... Not, not an old friend, eh? A friend that you've seen before, here. Uh, are we saying a friend or acquaintance? Because I'm, I'm very particular in my use of that word. An acquaintance. A man that we, we freed from a cage. He should probably be here by now. Oh. He's uh, down by Anna. The lady? Yep. Do, do, do. At least I think he's there now. Hey. Hey, buddy. Ah, Good old the trek. Hello there. I have your reward. Please accept it. Sunlight metal. That is a covenant I am item. Grateful to you for free. Particularly Co Sun Bros. Uh, <laughs> okay. That said, that it, it helps. You, it could help you join the Sun Bros should you choose to do so. Well, that means nothing to me right now. <laughs> well, we'll so. we'll find time to go over that. I'm sure. Oh yeah, and I now know why you suddenly got a, a uh, Estus flask back sometimes, you know, like, mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. another one just appears. It's because another player near you on the server uh, kindled a bonfire that you're close to. Oh. Yep, there's all sorts of online bonuses that I now know, and the people who play Dark Souls regularly will say, like, he, did he really beat the game two times? <laughs> Does he really have three characters? Oh, there, there, there are going to be some folks in the thread who are just going to be kind of look, thumbing their nose at some of your things, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely. There's al there's always that guy. <laughs> but what you going to do? Okay, mm -hmm. so we're going to probably edit in just... We're going to probably have a little fade in just before Vicus's revelation. <laughs> and for the viewers, as I've been going through, I've had a few deaths. There may actually be deaths after this one, but this is going to be my my moment of brilliance when I tell you my master plan. Okay. I love plans. Yes, plans, especially when they go well. Okay, so first thing is first. As Vickis has told me, I can take off the tail, but it's a matter of uh, hitboxing, and Mr. Spears hitboxes, well, mm. your imagination. It's not much of one. So I need more a more precise tool. Eh, just chop it the fuck off, that'll work. <laughs> and also some goodies. So my plan, take off Mr. Tail, mm -hmm. and get his health low. And when he gets close for buddy time, well, the buddy system's gonna hopefully fail because, well, I've got this gold pine resin, which, well, hopefully much pain will be caused upon my enemy. And as a fallback plan, if things go sour and I have to sit back, I've got a number of firebombs. Which, those are more like a gray firebomb, if you want to be pedantic about it. Mm, brownish, you know. Ish. But yeah, the issue, as you will see, as I come inside here, there will be a bit of a death reel, of course, but the thing is, at least at this point, I have a blood stain just inside, and right when I come in, Mr. Gargoyle, or Gargamel, heh, heh, is gonna come and get me. So, gotta be quick. Oh yeah. Here goes. Hey, buddy. Hi there. Well, that was a good start of success. Okay, getting the rust off. Come on, you scamp. Not too bad so far. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. It it can also be pretty hard to tell where he like you know where exactly you're supposed to be attacking with the tail, but usually they're pretty forgiving about the hitbox. If you uh, keep chopping in the general area and hit his tail, that'll help. Also, if uh, when you get behind him, you might want to destroy. It. You might want to take off lock on if you can, because if you're aiming towards the center of his body, you might start hitting off the. Uh, hitbox. It's kind of iffy, though, because it'll, you know, stop you from strafing and all. A lot of the times, these, like, cut off the tail monsters, and there's actually a ton of them in this game, uh, are the kind of thing that you do when you're doing co-op, one person will just run behind it, and the other person will draw aggro. But it is possible to get pretty much all of the tails 
except for maybe a few. Well, you can definitely get all the tails, but there are some, especially one later in the game that I know everyone hates, that it's much easier to just go in with co-op. Oh, come on, you scamp. <laughs> It'll be great if you get the second one going before. I probably will at this rate, goodness. Mm. That said, it does stagger him when you get his tail, so like usually you can get a bunch of free Whoa. hits in. Uh, he hasn't gotten me like that before. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that one. Another reason to take off the tail. I hear a bell. That uh, would just be someone else on the uh, server who beat the gargoyles. Oh, that's right. Uh, beating the gargoyle. Sounds pretty neat. Yeah. wonder if our viewers of level should ever see that. Maybe. Uh. On the plus side, if you cut off his tail now and then die, you will keep the prize for that. Yeah. I believe he keeps his tail, but honestly, okay, as this you can isn't see, working out. We could always just plan B it. Yeah, I'm about to. It's kick ass time, I'm thinking. Mm hmm. I feel you may be pleasantly surprised by the results. Especially with that badass lightning spear. Oof, look at that. Bam! Beautiful. Yeah, okay. that's uh, that's the result. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> nope. Okay. It's funny because I'm pretty sure these guys are also weak to fire. They're they're just they have no elemental resistances. I believe lightning is worse, but your fire bombs will also do the job. Just you'll, being safe. Yep, you'll probably notice the second one does not have a tail too. Yeah, I saw that. So he's basically if you get to the point where one of them's dead, the the difficult part of the fight is over. Well, the really difficult part of the fight is over. Mm. Kick his ass. Hoo Beautiful. Ah, oh, that was nice. It, it, the tail part didn't go as planned, but you know, what you gonna do? That's kind of the mo of this game. It happens. It, honestly, like Weeks I like away. the I like the thing, but it it isn't like a super weapon. It's it's an axe that yeah. like bends and stuff, just like the tail does. Plus, you'll have a chance to get it later in the game. Spoilers. Kinky. Well, also I um I figured that'd take an attack out of his arsenal, but mm -hmm. oh well. The lightning really did the job, though. I like that. Oh, yeah. That's... A lot of the times in this game, there will be very, very effective strategies that you may not necessarily be able to use because of your character build, but stuff like that is just... it. You know, it's a really tough game, but there's a lot of things you can do to make it a lot less tough for you. Yeah, you shake that PS3 controller. Yee! And one more. Hey. There were two gargoyles. I think it earned two. Yep. Okay, I got stairs, but let's look at the less obvious stuff. <laughs> yep. That's the first thing I did. Yep. Doesn't lead anywhere, but it's the first thing I did. Hey, what do you have for me, Note? <laughs> Gorgeous view. Ooh. It is lovely. It is. Are those clouds, or is that snowish stuff? That's a good question. It's kind of hard to tell. It's I, actually I guess... an area that we don't go to. Okay. We don't go there. We don't go to Ravenholm. Ah, <laughs> oh, fun stuff. Uh, I don't see any rude guests on the mezzanine. Yeah, I know you did it. You did it, Sparky. Okay. He's very proud of himself, let me tell you. I know, I should start leaving some notes. All completely useless notes, like fatty ahead. <laughs> you already know me so well. Uh -huh. Locking on. Hmm. Hmm. It's a bit weird. Cryptic. Uh. Hello, statues. You <laughs> How you guys out, doing? You're not, uh, you're not thinking about doing anything uh, extravagant like coming to life, I hope? 
Eh, I don't think the game would make you fight them on this tiny surface. You've earned your reward. That's the game would like me to think. You see, now I always assume the worst of this game. Alley, yep. Oh, fancy. Ah, homeward bone. Yes, uh, don't use that just yet. There, there is one thing that we have to see here, though. This is pretty much a dead end. Pretty much a dead end. Mm-hmm. Well, entirely a dead end. Oh, you don't want to use it quite yet? No, because there is one last thing if you head down, if you head back the way you came. Or I guess just enjoy the gorgeous view for a little longer. I don't trust myself around these ledges. <laughs> just kind of inching toward the ladder, kind of like waiting for it, waiting for it. Waiting for the ladder to attack you, of course. Ladder monster. Oh. <laughs> By the way, if you press B, you slide huh. down a ladder. I see an opening. Ah. No, you don't want to go mm. for those openings. Yeah, point made. <laughs> I, was look, I, was tr I was looking at it kind of like I don't see an enjoyable ledge. I don't okay. see a ledge that I could land on. So you said there was something I missed? Not that you missed. Something that doesn't appear until you, So uh... just exit the tower? Ooh, uh, ghost. Well... <laughs> Never gonna get used to that. Yep. So you said press B. I assume you mean circle. On, on the ladder, yes. Well, whatever the run button is. You feel oh, and up. don't move, don't be moving when you do it. Nice. All Useful, that. right? Whoop. What do you want? <laughs> hey, buddy. Come on, he's just, he's so open-handed. He loves you. He just wants to give you a hug. Alright, what do you want? <laughs> Greetings. I am Oswald of Kherim, the part. Thou art a friend. For thee, a warm welcome. Cometh thou to confess? Or to accuse. Or indeed, your sin is my domain. Oh. He's a magical type guy. Mmm. A bit of a thing for masks. And he has a gesture. Always gestures. Anyway, this dude is Oswald, and he is a, uh, basically part of a multiplayer function called Sin where if you do certain things, such as kill NPCs, um, or go into other people's worlds and kill them, then you, can, you basically commit sin, and one of the covenants in the game will come in and start hunting you. And Ooh. basically it's, just, you know, more PvP stuff, where a person invades your world and you have to try to kill them. Well... Oh. Also, if you happen to get invaded, you can buy a uh, thing from him that will indict the other player, which means that they now have sin and they can get attacked by, and you know, like they'll be on the list to get attacked by people. And he also uh, forgives sin as well. But who would ever want their sins forgiven? But yeah, it's something that we may or may not ever actually see in the game because you have to get he you have to be human to be invaded in the first place. But it's you know useful, nice feature. Maybe we'll show it off. Hmm. Maybe hopefully nobody will invade my world. It's uh, I like I like my personal space. So uh, <laughs> okay, so homeward bone, I guess, or we could do the old-fashioned method. Just yeah, but most of the things are dead. Although actually, if you want, you can run back to the. Uh, blacksmith bonfire. There is one thing that I, we probably should do real quick, like. Okay, I can get over there in not too much time. Although, really, there's also a new area over there that we could explore, if that's what you want to do. Uh, is that the thing that was at the foot of the stairs that really rocked me? With the Titanite Demon, yes. Ah, uh, is that where we have to go? It's not where you have to go, but I mean, honestly, it's an it's a, it's 
an area that you can do at this level, and I mean, have to go is kind of becomes a nebulous term at this point. Oh, so the game is effectively over now. You don't have to do anything. Oh, well, yeah, pretty much. Well, well, he's over, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Good job. Beat you beat Dark Souls. All right. Wouldn't actually try to kill him. Go down that hallway, by the way, or that through the door that was uh, back up there. Sure. It's not anything big, but it's uh, you can you can meet a new friend. I don't know. I don't like most of the friends I've had in this game. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oswald just wanted a hug. I like to think he's just permanently trapped in a well what is it gesture. What the hell? <laughs> You'll want to talk to him twice. He's lost in thought. Is this a spaceman? <laughs> he would be very offended if you said that. One second, I just remembered. I gotta move that. Move that. Okay. Hey, Always buddy. time for a little hmm. rearranging. Hmm. Hmm. Like I said, talk to him again and he'll notice you. Oh, forgive me. I was absorbed in thought. I am Ziegmeier of Katarina. Quite honestly, I've run flat up against a wall. Or a gate, I should say. The thing just won't budge, no matter how long I wait. And oh, have I waited. So here I sit, in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> so, Colonel, tell me about what you saw in outer space. <laughs> tell me. What did the tang taste like? Yeah, that's all for now. It, it starts a side quest, and you can do it pretty much any time up until that big gate does open, which, spoilers, it will. <laughs> I know, right? The plot thickens. <laughs> Andre the Giant. Hmm, he's not that big. Dude, he's sitting down and he's as tall as I am. I think he's pretty big. I mean, he's a, he's a well, big dude. He's not like a big, big dude. He seemed to be doing all right. I mean, imagine if he was, like, the size of this room. Okay, let me see. So, the first thing we need to do is buy some of them shard kajiggers. If I improve the shield, does it just strictly improve, like, the pairing type thing? Or does it actually give us more defense? Let me see. The... it improves stability. Stability is the most important thing for shields, so that's a good thing. Ah. If you if you hit the info button, it'll tell it'll show you like the stat going up very slightly, and it looks really small, but it makes a massive difference. Like a few points of stability is huge. In as much as like when you when you go when you compare it, the amount of stamina an enemy takes off when they hit, for like with a lower stability versus a higher one, even a single point is like a noticeable difference in how hard the enemy hits you. So that's what stability does. Oh yeah, I did notice that you repaired your weapons before uh, using them. If you, when you uh, upgrade a weapon, it actually repairs it automatically. Oh well. <laughs> so you, you totally not wasted exactly those a like hundred run anymore, souls. is it? No, you. Uh, I think that ended a long time ago. Well, through the magic of editing, I can fool the viewer. <laughs> not that, that I, not true. that I would do such a thing. Oh, okay. is this is this still a no death run as far as the viewer knows? Yes, it still is a no-death run period. Mm. Mm. For the record, that number is always just going to be, you know, it's, it's X number of required souls for the next level. Let's put two into endurance, and I'll just do the rest with upgrade and stuff. That sounds good. Yeah, I'm guessing, at least as far as armor goes... Uh, special stuff probably won't be till later in the game. As far as spears go, I don't know when I'd get the next spear that would be worthy <sighs> of jumping the, stuff into. That's right? the thing about this game. That well, uh, The armor you're wearing the isn't the best armor in the game, but you could theoretically stick with it and be perfectly fine if you were to upgrade it. It probably would help you out. Oh, and remember that smithing itself costs something, so don't spend absolutely all of your money on shots. Oh, I know, I know. Just, just to make sure. It, it, the, the shards are more expensive and are what you're going to be spending most of the money on when you smith, but 
Oh, I know. I was, I was keeping an eye on that when I was going through, kind of like, hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now just look at the other armor, just out of curiosity. Yeah. And also, by the time that you get, like... Do you even have full sets right now? I don't think so. Oh. Is this all you got? Maybe some hollow stuff as well? I've got some hollow stuff. But I've also got a couple of balder things. Oh, not, right. No, balder no full gear. sets yet. Yeah, you... Full sets generally aren't dropped by enemies. You'll find them in the game so that your armor screen won't get completely cluttered. I'm just looking for something that gives me the most bang for my buck. <laughs> mm-hmm, makes sense. Yeah, Generally like speaking, the uh, the hard leather armor, like the chest plate, the chest... There we mm. go, six souls. And I've got one humanity. Hmm, let me Neither think. 